Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're playing our Long War of the Chosen campaign where I'm trying to beat or at least play the game on Legendary Iron Man with a beautiful mod. It is time to defend our haven again. Operation Sleeping Cobra is a serious one as our uh, entire haven crew is yet again under pressure you know how the deal goes we're being attacked uh, likely by the chosen i would assume that that stupid assassin is back in the mix we got an entire crew with us and hopefully we'll be strong enough to teach her a valuable lesson let's go all right we landed at 10 potential resistance operatives and I know that it's not going to be an easy mission so let's do some Oscar mic here to get into the right positions Moving. Hostile targets in sight. oh wow first pack already there trooper heavy gunner let's kill that heavy gunner and trigger the pack. Well, almost got him down. Moving up. Good, Gunner is nicely down. Hitting the trooper, but not killing him outright. over here nicely gets the viper in position let's kill it by the way you want some more? What's over there? So that was a rather easy first pack, but you never know what awaits down the uh, down the line, right? Or oh, watching. Hmm. Foreseeable. She's unfortunately a menace to be reckoned with. Pierces three armor, takes less uh, from explosive attacks, and hates Templars. Well, we can't use the hate for Templars to our advantage yet. We need to spot her out. Sounds like that Chosen is headed right for us. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. I will give you a clean death. Hmm. Okay, I'll go. Moving up. Really, nothing. She might be standing somewhere here. No problem, boss. Good, we need to get uh, her a bit closer. No problem, boss. Namri begins to shred her. Here, 
but it should take away two armor. And let's uh, move a bit closer. I think we might need to mark her. That would certainly help in order to hit every single shot. All right, reload it is. And holo target her. Triple shot. Eight damage is fantastic. Now her impact compensation begins to stack up. Six points of damage, very uh, very nice. And four. She's at maximum impact compensation, but look at the amount of damage that we dealt. And she only gets one movement for that. Better. Uh, first of all, gets fortify himself. And... Then moves over there. We'll take the most possible damage, which is from our gunner, and set gunner free reloads, and then chain shots. Let's go. Good hit. <laughs> we got her down. Oh, that was a good, very, very good uh, knock. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. That's going to be Overwatch from over there. Endos moves up as well. And listen, I, I don't like moving along over here. I think we're just going to go shortly back into cover. Oh, you survived. Uh, lost a good soldier there. That must be somewhere over here. Can we see them? No, not yet. In which case, how about we're move up? Uh, we're moving up. Absolutely. I would like to get the high ground for the sniper. Gunner moves up as well. Oh, that was not a clever move up. Good hit. Steer clear of those berserkers. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. Oh yeah, they are. That's true. Uh, 
Yep, overall good hits. I like what I'm seeing. Oh yeah. Yes, move away. We want to keep. Uh, we want to keep every single one. Good. Need to get uh, this pack engaged ASAP as well. Hmm. How do we go about it? Hmm. Good. Like I said, we want to engage the other the other pack. Might as well start uh, with uh, just removing as much uh, cover as possible. Then the Berserker will take his fair share of bullets. So much damage, this is just phenomenal. Well, Berserka finally went down. Gotta admit, these things are always tougher than than you would expect. take an extra pistol so that I can uh, do this. Reload Overwatch. All right, let's wait for them to come in. And might as well just put a decent smoke down. Very good. Almost killed after engaging him. Whatever you say. Nice little flanking position here. Into a solid kill. I'm just continuing to rescue all of uh, the civilians here.
You know what? Let's teamwork. And let the sniper, big sleep, handle that thing. an easy way of uh, getting there don't want to be caught up in uh, caught out in the open Overwatch. I, I guess that'll be we only got a stern gun, so I'm not sure if this is really going to do much. Yeah. Get it together. Got it covered. All right, there we go. And we have been spotted out right in the open. Fantastic. Yes, there must be another pack, elsewise he would not be just backing up. So it is getting targeted. If you say so. We're slightly moving forward. At the same time, Newton is just too far away. They are triggering and then they are running back instead of towards us. It's a bit annoying, if you ask me. Can't fully get up there. A trooper right there. I think we can work around that trooper. Hold a targeting him. And let's see if we can kill him. One of them down. Target neutralized. The EDM gets all of our temporary hit points. And in case someone is moving forward, 
or going to shoot them. Seems doable. Advent troops here. Wow, yet another pack. And guess what? That pack is again moving backwards. I don't know what it is, but they're always trying to scatter further away and even hunker down. Like why? Why not move in and face us like men or aliens? Good, no further pack here, that's a good start. The sector, however, has moved around here. That's majorly disappointing. Let's first of all get rid of the mutant. First the reload, then shredding and maybe reducing cover to half but the trees are very very sturdy and long war change the environmental uh, damage system so you can't, if you don't overcome it in the first shot you will not overcome it period. Meaning successive uh, grenades don't really do much. Fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. I hope it's worth it. Moving All right, we're moving closer to the actual target. I will hold the target him because we don't have. A great way to overcome his cover. Best option would be if this 65% uh, shot would hit, and it does. One down, thousands to go. Alright, two for one. Thankfully they uh, they are really more uh, nearly vulnerable. Pliskit gets the aid protocol. Just in case, because he's standing in the open. And I don't like that a lot. We know there are two enemies here. It's killing time. So when they come in, let's overwatch. Three enemies, I forgot about the one advent. Oh, come on. 
Our overwatches are so poor. Well, just when I'm complaining, the game finally rec uh, recognizes that it has, has done us dirty with the overwatches. And lo and behold, we're hitting. Let's get the sergeant. Great hit. We can definitely throw a flashbang over if that is needed. Moving to position. We're getting some loot. I have the Okay, that should be a kill. Typically not really the biggest fan of going into the open. We do have a backup plan in case it backfires. Like I said, hate sending in the open. Not a very good uh, method, but the way that cover really. The, co the way that cover was distributed here isn't really good. Wow. Well, I'm moderately proud of us for taking down the chosen in such decisive uh, fashion comes in gets shredded he gets triple hit by the gunner then gets double hit afterwards and regrets their life choices good vdm yeah, I was waiting for steady hands. That'll come. Uh, for now, I think we're just going for Santa Mars. More damage is always good. Venom, we're taking extra charges for the med kit. That's great. And as you can see, I've already used the training facility a little bit. Definitely combative. That's not bad. I actually like it. This, of course, is good as well. That is very good. That is very good. Um, we're waiting for 40 points and then that would be an extra attack. So that would basically give us the melee attack that we do have, but uh, extend it to 
blue move range and then afterwards we can continue that's cool even uh, works well with reaper just double checking if these two just bond apparently not and I think we only lost a few people over it, right? Let's increase the bond training whenever possible. Like I said, train, train, train. When you're on training, you should be training. Okay, so we got officer training, we got the shinobi training, we got uh, the training center for bond training, and we got the psi operatives for psi training. Can't train more than that. As you can see, lots of stuff is happening. Okay, in the meantime, let's make contact. I think we lost two, right? Am I right? Yeah, we're down to four. Down to four. Let's do some more recruitment. And we're getting some help with that just to get more people in good blood angels are finally at a hundred percent but there is still more that we can do and the baseline at the moment is 60 to 89 or we can push that further down which of course we're going to do we've hit a new record high of vigilance 20 in the new Indonesian uh, haven and this year is going to be our ambush on the troop uh, column and I can uh, decide whether I want to fight my way through 30 enemies Um, hmm. It's a decent team, but 30 enemies is pushing it, so that was where we wanted to boost the infiltration and got it to exactly 100%. Need to launch it, 20 enemies, so just like that we're down to 20 enemies that's good magnetic weapon still takes uh, 12 more days and as always we are doing missions on every single character the roster has grown but for a long war roster guys hate to bring it to you this is still not a complete roster we're going to uh, get more and more psi operatives but we're also going to have a deeper and bigger roster yeah, once I do have proving grounds I will get um, a spark going as well can't recruit anything uh, we might be able to snatch something from the black market next month the time since there is so much happening is just always running so slow we're only in june really supply drop is coming in in eight days so that uh, means new recruits if possible six days until we finally get down here into the infirmary which i will speed build once we do have it and since we have maxed out contacts i also want to build resistance comms as one of uh, the next options and then basically we're going to upgrade that and 
have the uh, gremlins work on both of it. We're a little bit short on engineers as well and of course I could use another scientist just for good measure to speed up the research. We're not really behind the curve but let's put it this way we could speed up the research a bit more uh, if we had more uh, operatives specific uh, if we have more scientists specifically since um, we do have two scientists that are more or less helping with the psi training which is fine but it just means we need more scientists overall could go uh, with a uh, with a laboratory but it mm, more mm. I don't know I don't know yet uh, Resist uh, resistance comps and the infirmary will already do a fantastic job and then there is so much to buy in the proving grounds so not sure about the laboratory but theoretically we could do a laboratory shadow chamber and then we would go for uh, the uh, defense matrix and have all of the buildings it would literally be all of the buildings but it also means our power is pretty much set to 32 so I think that won't be enough not really not even with an Illyrium upgrade so we don't have room for a laboratory sadly but we can get scientists uh, elsewise there is always basic research to increase your scientists and there are plenty of options to buy scientists from the black market so it, it'll work don't worry everything is going to be all right and with uh, those wise words i leave you to whatever else you're doing today see you tomorrow and have a good day bye bye